Hey everyone, today is the second lesson for uh, my series on guitar palm meeting. Uh, today we're going to learn how to apply the technique now that you know the basic fundamentals behind the technique and you learn some basic uh, down and up, uh, alternative picking using all, um, these basic uh, palm meets. Uh, we're going to learn some riffs that you can start to play use, that uses palm meets. And we're going to start off simple, we're going to start off using riffs that use only just palm mutes and then with these uh, four different riffs that we're going to use we're then from there going to t uh, mix them up a little bit with uh, the palm mutes and the regularly picked notes to get some really cool and interesting uh, grooves out of your playing and this will really transform your rhythm playing to a big level and if uh, we'll even use some power chords with these uh, riffs as well to make it a little bit more interesting and if you're the sort of person who likes uh, rock music, heavy rock music or, or heavy metal music and you want to uh, be playing some really cool riffs and you want to create your own riffs then this is a great way to do just that. So the first riff, uh, let me just play it for you first and then I'll uh, break it down for you. Basically it's all down picking, so as long as you can do the constant uh, down or turn it picking. So then you should be uh, fine with that. So the whole riff consists of constant uh, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 Okay, so it's all, all constant uh, flavor notes. And in the, the left hand, it's a really simple riff that we're doing here. We're going to be using just two fingers, the first finger and the second finger, and we're going to be using some open strings as well. So it's going to consist of a total of five different notes on strings uh, low E and A. Okay? But, so the first one, we're going to be picking for uh, a bar and a half of open E. finger on the second fret of low E to get the F sharp. Pick that four times. Then we're going to move up to the G, which is the first fret on the low E. We play it with the second finger. We're going to move over to the third fret on the A string, still with the second finger. And now we have C. We can play that. Play that five times, five picks on, this, on the uh, right hand. And to the last uh, stretch of the bar, we've got a uh, first finger play second fret on the A string for the B. So for the last three. Together, that is. is uh, pretty much almost exactly the same but the ending is going to be different so let's check this one out so D up to D on, on the fifth fret so this played the exact same thing as before so it'll be two and a half so it's one and a half bars of E open E Half a bar of F sharp, then a full bar of G, then move over uh, with the second finger to C, and then for the final four uh, picks, it's going to be for uh, the fifth fret on the A string played by your pinky, or you could slide up with your second finger if you want. All together. This riff is going to be a little bit more complicated. We're going to be using three different strings: strings E, 
A and D and it's going to be using a, a combination of uh, all four fingers so be careful of your finger because what it is so first of all let me just play it and I'll break it down for you again it's all dead palm muting for the whole thing so be careful of what you're doing with the fifth hand but here's what it sounds like first We have uh, four, four picks on the, uh, on the low E, followed by four on the F sharp. And then we have four on the G. Then, then we just have three on the C. Because for the last uh, pick on that bar, we're going to go down first finger to the second fret on the A. The second half. So what we have here, we have four on the open A, followed by four on the third fret of the E string. Make sure you play your second finger for the, uh, that note. Next, because the next note is going to be up here on the fifth fret of the D string, and when you go play that with the pinky, you need to do five for that note, and then to finish off, we've got, we move down with the uh, take the pinky off, and keep the, the other fingers on. So we have the third finger now on the fourth fret of the D, and have an F sharp. So, Okay, so the final uh, riff we're going to learn for this lesson is it's probably the hardest in terms of uh, rhythm and where you're changing your fingers, but the position wise it's pretty easy because we're just going to be locked in this position here within the first three frets. Or based on strings E and E. Um, so let me just play it for you. And again, I'll break it down. We're going to start off on the low E again. Play that five times. And then uh, after we've played that five times, we're going to move over to the F. Play that three times. Then play the G. Three times. Move over to the, the A string for the C string. That's the first part. The second part. First finger on the first fret of low E. Play that five times. Then we're going to move over to the third fret on the A with the third finger. Play that three times. Then we'll take that off. First finger on the first fret of A string. Play that three times. Then we're going to put the second finger on the second fret. Play that three times. And then one pick on the first fret, and one pick on the second fret. a little bit more we're going to add some uh, some regular notes in between those uh, power muted notes to make the riff a bit more interesting so what we're going to do we're going to take the first riff that we've done that one we're going to uh, add some uh, 
regular notes uh, in certain places. Let me just play you uh, exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, I've got playing those palm mutes, and in between, I've got just a, a normally picked note coming in every now and then to add a bit more a, a rhythmic. Uh, Dynamics and sort of accent emphasize the rhythm. Okay, so uh, what what we want for the if we're playing the E on the E, we've got so that's uh, two palm muted, then open the effect, then then followed by another two. Muted, over picked, and then to the rest of the bar just pick it, uh, palm it as normal. So the first bit is again, and then the next bar. Two palm mutes, then the pick, two mute, then for the second fret, which is the B note, just all the way to the bigger. Okay. One, two, three, four. This time we're going to do an uh, accent and we're going to be playing uh, power chords. So, so for instance, instead of just playing the open E string, we're going to be playing the power chord. So just uh, add the uh, next uh, string down uh, and uh, play the uh, E power chord, for instance. And when you're playing the G, you play the G power chord, and so on. So let's try the second riff for this next one. You know, we'll do something like this. That sounds very rocky, doesn't it? It sounds like the the main riff of a verse to a song. So what we've got here, we've got the exact same rhythm in the first part, similar to what we did in the, just the previous exercise. Exactly the same as the exercise before, we just uh, add in an extra string so we get the power chord. So it's meet, meet, strong, meet, meet, strong, meet, meet, then then it's the G. Then when we go to the C, we're going to do. So it's meet, meet, strong, meet uh, for the C, and then the same thing on the D. And then we go back and repeat it. On the count of four, get ready. One, two, three, four. exercise for the day is going to be we're going to use the third riff this time we'll just go back to using single notes again but it will be a bit more 
uh, involved in terms of, of the accents to, uh, that will be included this time. So let me just play it for you once and I'll break it down for you. So all I have here, let me break it down into uh, two parts uh, so we can make it a bit easier to follow. So the first part is... So that's so eight, eight, F, eight, eight. Then we go to the F. So that's the first little well, bit. Then the next bit is. Then the next bit is. Off the riff we have. So that's on the open A we have eight, 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 eight. And on the C, eight, eight, eight. Again, eight, 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 eight. string we have there's not a lot of meat car meeting going on there it's mostly just picking so we have one again, uh, the last one that we covered, but we're going to use uh, with, uh, with some interesting rhythms once again, just like kind of similar to what we did in the last one. So we have uh, most of the, uh, the accents coming on, maybe a uh, change of the, the string. But um, this time we'll be using power chords just like we did with the exercise before. It'll go, so it goes like this. First half. Similar to the start of the last exercise, but just with a power chord, so we have. section this is the part that really sounds sort of metal guys it reminds me of metallica a little bit so what we have here we have the f power chord based on the first fret on the the, the holy string so we have 
da kod i i then you move over, we'll move over quickly to the C. You hit and by two meets. Then we move over to B flat. Move up on the first fret of A. Thumb eight meets for that. Then quickly over to the B. Same again. Then we finish it off with uh, back to the B flat chord. We, we pick that and then slide into the B chord. Same part all the way through. So let's put those two parts together. Now let's play those two parts together and play a few times and uh, just practice a little bit faster, see how we get on. So get yourself ready. Up four. One, two, three, four. That's all for this lesson in this series. Thanks for joining me. I hope you uh, you really enjoyed these uh, exercises and learned how to palm mute and add that to your playing and you can develop your rhythm skills through doing that. So take that away with you and uh, add it to your playing and have fun learning all this stuff. Um, so to as an outro to this lesson to this series, I'm just going to play that final riff that we just learned again. This time I'll play it uh, at the full speed that I wrote it when I was originally coming up with the idea. Uh, so you get an idea of, uh, of playing this sort of thing faster and how it sounds when you're playing a bit faster. Uh, so, uh, so take those riffs uh, and learn them and uh, add them to your uh, repertoire of sounds and ideas that you come up with and have fun with learning all this stuff. So check out my other series and check out the handout for this lesson. You can download it from uh, my uh, website. You go into Learn Resources, you'll find it there. And uh, stay tuned for the next lesson to always upload, and I'll see you.